Good morning everybody, or afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, here's another video about things I've experienced doing these uh, stainless steel tumblers. This is my latest project and I am so in love with it. Um, I saw a video where Feather Bear uh, used pressed flowers on a glitter cup uh, applying them with Mod Podge and I thought I wanted to try it so I ordered some flowers they finally came in the um, pansies here came from I want to say Lusitania and I never remember to look and see but they they came in first actually the rest of them came from China uh, these are pressed dried flowers I applied them with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, let it dry overnight, and I just now put the epoxy on them. If you're going to do this, I highly recommend that you use the two part epoxy simply because, especially like on the stems down here, they will bulge up. So, and in the middle of some of these flowers, like the daisies, if one will come around here right here that that's the middle of this will kind of hump up but even though you use Mod Podge it's best to um, go ahead and seal it up with a two-part epoxy but I am very pleased with this now um, I know I've got some videos out there and every time I publish a video something's different and so this will be the latest update on everything. Um, number one is, as you can see, sorry about that. I put that piece of wood in there between my brackets. And even though it still kind of jumps or you hear that click every once in a while, this is the fourth time I have used it since I've done that modification and it is not backing out of the motor it is staying level it's letting the epoxy cure level um, I'm happy with it uh, I know eventually you know if I really decide to get into these things which I'm almost ready to take a break it's been so frustrating with some of these cups um, I may build a multi cup tisserie um, not sure yet but uh, uh, another thing to take into consideration when I mix my epoxy I am doing it in one cup one of these little cups like this and I'm usually doing five milliliters of part A and five milliliters of part B um, in the same cup now I don't mix it for a while I let it level out to make sure because if you pour the thick stuff in first and the thinner stuff second you'll notice that the thinner stuff will kind of put a dimple into the thick stuff and so I let it sit for maybe about two three minutes to uh, level itself out to make sure that the measurements are the same and my fans blown it away um, and then I will mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix. Then I let it sit for at least 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer sometimes. I know in a previous film video I said 5 to 10 minutes. I'm recommending a lot longer. Um, when you feel that cup start to get a little warm, and all the most of the bubbles have dissipated and it's starting to really clear up that's when you apply it uh, and I've ever since I've done that I always get this mirror finish or this glass finish um, another thing is use the finger method brush strokes with just like a bristle brush or a hair brush you know hairs with I'm talking about like a sable brush or whatever first of all you're gonna ruin your brush you can't clean this stuff out of it the foam brushes or the makeup if you're using that 
and you're getting the same results, more power to you. Because I, I just I still believe that the foam particles are getting in the epoxy and it's it's leaving the dimpling and so forth and so on. If you're doing a glitter cup, uh, put on a very thin layer before the first one. Um, check and see if you actually do need a second layer. If you do, make sure it's a very thin layer. I've got one cup here that I did again. Let me show it to you. Completely stripped off all the um, glitter and re-glittered it. This time what I did is I added epoxy on the cup and then sprinkled the glitter. But I got it pretty thick in some areas like right up above my decal here and it cracked a little bit. Um, and then of course what you're going to have to do is once you put the epoxy down, sprinkle your glitter on, let it cure, sand it down. 400 grit or finer wet sand it underneath running water in your sink um, and then once that's dried thoroughly and I would I would give it a good hour or so to dry or set it in front of the fan that's I've got this little fan set up here and it's wonderful um, for doing these cups and then add your second um, layer of epoxy and that's what I did here I put my decal on first of course and I, I also like doing that. I like putting down the epoxy and then putting down the decal and then more epoxy on top of it because it kind of gives it a, a 3D layer, a 3D look to it. Uh, this is holograph glitter. And in the sun, it is absolutely awesome. It is just like gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, let me see. What else have I... I said something about the figure, finger. Um, another thing I would recommend when doing these cups, especially if you're going to put decals on them, if you're going to paint and then go ahead and put your decal on, I would wait a good 24 hours or at least bake your items before you put your decals on. I've seen on that Facebook page blog that a lot of people, you know, they spray paint, it says dry to the touch in 10 minutes and they try to put their decal on and it just totally tears the paint up. And it's usually not the decal itself, it's the um, application tape that you use to put decals on. So uh, I highly recommend that you wait a while, at least, like I said, 24 hours. And, and usually what you do, if you're really doing these cups, I will paint a few, let them sit overnight, and then either do the epoxy and then decal or do a decal, spray paint it with the Rust-Oleum 2X, and bake them. The baking method is very, very easy, but... Uh, in my opinion, if you're doing glitter cups or if you're doing something like this where you're going to have uh, raised uh, parts like if you're doing rhinestones or maybe paper or something that's going to have an edge to it or have a, a relief on it, I would, I would do the two-part epoxy. Um, you're, if you don't, like if I'd have done this with the 2X and then I wouldn't have baked it anyway because I think these, these flowers are very, very delicate. You have to be very careful with them. I broke one of the pansies because um, they're, they're real. They're, they're real dried flowers. But uh, I, I would be very cautious about doing any kind of baking on them because of uh, the fragility of the pieces that you're putting on there. Anything that you're putting on there that's plastic, I would not bake. Um, also, if you have the, the small toaster oven, uh, I thought, oh, I could fit two items in there, and I put a cup and a bottle in there, put the bottle in first, and then the cup. Well, the cup turned out just fine. When I pulled out the bottle, the back end of it that was next, not touching, but next to the wall of the oven, the uh, 2X bubbled 
So I had to sand that down and redo that. So it is fixable, but avoid it. Just just do one cup at a time. Um, now I did see somebody had like a, a rotisserie oven. Uh, it had plenty of room to put two cups in, and and you don't have to turn it on its side. It it was tall enough that they could just stick the cups in there upright. So um, I hope these videos help you. Sometimes this stuff can just be so frustrating and so aggravating you just want to quit. Um, you do need to take a break every once in a while because they are um, finicky. Some of them have a mind of their own and some of them are cursed <laughs> because there's some that you just, it doesn't matter what you do to them or try to fix them, they're just not going to come. And those are the ones that you probably keep for yourself. But anyway, just wanted to um, tell you some of the things that I've experienced and what I'm, I'm trying to do from now on because so far they work. Um, if you're not, if you're on Facebook, please go out to the DIY Tumblr's uh, No Powder Coat. That's the name of the uh, group. It's a group you have to join. Um, recently here they've had so many people sign up for it. I don't know if it's from people watching my videos or just because they they stumbled upon it or, or somebody else told them about it. I don't know. But it's a very informative group. Lots of details. Lots of beautiful cups. Lots of things to do and not to do. So I highly recommend uh, joining the group if you're going to be doing these cups. So I'm going to get back to it and we will see y'all later. Bye.